The truth is, the facts are, that on January 6th, Donald Trump did not once condemn this attack. He did not once condemn the attackers. In fact, on January 6th, the only person he condemned was his own vice president, Mike Pence, who was hiding in this building with his family in fear for his life. In the first crucial hours of this violent attack, he did nothing to stop it, nothing to help us. By all accounts from the people that were around him, he was delighted. And here's the last thing Donald Trump said that day. And you might remember this from my motions presentation earlier in the week. At 6 p.m. on January 6th, after all the destruction that you just saw, the Capitol Police and the National Guard fighting to secure this building, here's what Donald Trump tweeted. These are the things and events that happen when a sacred landslide election victory is so unceremoniously and viciously stripped away from great patriots who have been badly and unfairly treated for so long. Go home with love and in peace. Remember this day forever. He got what he incited, and according to Donald Trump, we got what we deserved. Donald Trump's incitement of this insurrection, including his dereliction of his duty as Commander-in-Chief to defend the Capitol and the people in it, his complete refusal to condemn the attack while it was going on, and his continued incitement of the violence during the attack require impeachment. Now let's turn to then-President Trump's conduct that day. I want to start at the beginning when he addressed his thousands of great patriots, as he called them that morning. Around noon, Donald Trump began speaking at his rally just down Pennsylvania Avenue. Even before Donald Trump finished speaking, uh, his supporters began to walk down toward the Capitol, and they were already starting to chant, stop the steal, storm the Capitol, invade the Capitol, fight for Trump. And by 12.53 p.m., they had violently forced their way through the barricades here at the Capitol. Now, about 1 o'clock that day, with this chaos just starting, Speaker Pelosi, as the Constitution requires, formally commenced the process by which this chamber certifies the election results. Within 10 minutes, at 1.11 p.m., as if almost on cue, Donald Trump concluded his speech with his final reminder to the thousands gathered there that it was time to go to the Capitol. Let's watch. And we're going to the Capitol, and we're going to try and give, but we're going to try and give our Republicans, the weak ones, because the strong ones don't need any of our help, we're tr going to try and give them the kind of pride and boldness that they need to take back our country. So let's walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. I want to thank you all. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you all for being here. This is incredible. Thank you very much.